once again thank you for choosing excel skills for business essential let's quickly start with the modules which we are going to cover in the upcoming series i'll click on the let's go button okay uh, as you are aware you are enrolled in the excel business essential course right where you are getting a certificate uh, post the completion of particular uh, section you will get some questionaries right you need to answer those qualify for the final mcqs and post that you will get the certification uh, for the same right and you can add that on your linkedin profile your resumes and add the value and yes obviously you will upskill yourself right uh, as likely mentioned uh, here are the add numbers now i'll explain you each part how it works and how it will help you to do a summation right in ms excel so this is the dummy data set which i have right from column c column d f and g right and this is the explanation correct add numbers like a champ uh, here i have just added the note here are some ways to add the numbers in excel first thing select the yellow cell under the amounts of fruit okay so i'll click over here type a is equal to some d4 d7 okay so what is that so i'll explain you that as well how it looks like what you need to do click over here first right it's d8 correct so this is the d right and this is the 8 so basically this is the yellow box i'll click over here and then here is the option you can see insert a function right or otherwise you can go into insert option on the top here you could see the function option if the function option is not available over here you can directly go formulas right here is the option called auto sum you can click over here see the particular option sum is equal to d47 right and then press enter you will get the result like this okay or otherwise you can click over here insert function the same option which we have clicked over here this is the second method to do a summation right so so far we have seen the two methods for the sum now i'll showcase you the third type of sum so what you need to do click sum select the overall range bracket close and then press enter this is the third step for summing up the value or maybe if you want to do a fast right you don't have a time you have a multiple spreadsheet and you want to do a summation that time you can do alt key is equal to summation and press enter this is the fourth step i would say correct and then if you have a condition in place correct so so far what we have seen we have seen the four steps how to do a sum uh, in ms excel correct uh, like a layman to champ level right so basically four steps which will help you to do a sum for any kind of you know data sets which is available in your excel sheet correct so you can do that now uh, suppose we have a condition okay so meaning condition uh, here we can see now add the only numbers over a 50 select the last yellow cell okay and type this particular formula and then press enter okay result would be 100 okay i'll not uh, bother about the result because i know uh, if we perform this particular activity we will definitely get this result however as a demonstration purpose i'll show you what we need to do is equal to sum if you need to type okay if you are not aware uh, how to type it that's completely fine you can click over here you can search that particular formula sum if right you will get it over here double click you can see the pop up like this okay the range is basically d11 so i'll type d11 and then d15 then it's asking me to add a criteria so criteria is mine add a over 50 correct these are the criteria basically right uh, when i press this particular 
uh, criteria added the criteria that time you could see this uh, 100 value is added formula result is 100 okay then and there i get the result but i want this in the excel sheet so I press enter you can see this result okay likewise you can do the similar thing over here as well similar fashion sum if range comma criteria would be again 50 press enter okay if you want to change a criteria uh, from 100 so we don't have the more than 100 so i would say i'll take a 40 rather 40 you could see the result correct you can change your criteria basis your data availability right and you can do that okay so this is the just a demo purpose uh, i've just added if you want you can do a analysis at your end in the your excel sheet right and uh, you can have it benefit scroll it down so if you could see i'll explain you this particular formula what it is exactly and uh, how it works correct so is equal to sum when we add the function uh, the function name is sum this is the sum and the range is basically d38 to d41 meaning so this is basically a uh, name of the values right if i cannot say directly 50 uh, 20 60 40 right i cannot do like this in the sum function okay if you want to do a sum like this you can do this that's completely fine plus plus but in it it's in a tedious task for me okay i don't want to go rather so i'll choose a range option okay d38 to d41 so meaning so this is the 38 to d41 this is the formula which is already i have placed and then press enter you could see the result okay so meaning this is the formula is equal to sum this is your formula and this is your range ensure that you are using a appropriate uh curly braces okay uh, while using the formula and then again the another method okay top four methods we have already seen correct the, now this is the another method which we are seeing it right now i have the table one over here table two over here and third value is the add-on value basically which i will put it manually right so and i wanted to do a sum so i'll just do a sum okay basis on this data i'll select this i'll do a comma and then again i select this particular thingy okay and uh, suppose i want to add a 400 as well in this but i'll not do go with the 400 first i'll show you the demo first and then later on I'll move to the 400 value addition so i'll add the 100 and then bracket close enter okay so overall result you could see the 200 okay this is 80 this is 100 so overall 80 and this 20 is 100 and then overall 100 i have added so if i want to do a thousand i'll do a thousand you can see this the result okay the similar way uh, what we have seen this sum explanation part the similar way we have this explanation as well this is a sum uh, again the range the overall two way range and this is the constant value which we have added right uh, 100 1000 whatever you want to add it you can just go there and add it and in excel it is called it as a constant okay and then now we have the sum if again more about a sum if function so this is the sum if and you can add the criteria basis the data availability sum if so meaning sum sum means summation the total right if uh, if means condition so sum plus if that is criteria based sum so we need a criteria based sum so over here d7377 correct so here i have added added the particular formula and over a 50 uh, value whichever is available i'll get the result over here okay similar fashion uh, is equal to so this is the uh, more than 
50 okay whatever available value is 50 so more than 50 whichever is available uh, i'll get the result and here in this particular criteria more than 50 but is equal to 50 as well if there is a 50 then only take that value as two correct so that's the reason it's uh, you know value has been changed particular series okay uh, let's wait and check out the next upcoming series in the same section in the meantime have a great day ahead